A reading from the Valley of Dry Bones. The Lord set me down in the middle of the valley, and it was full of bones. And he led me around among them, and behold, there were very many on the surface of the valley. And behold, they were very dry. And he said to him, Son of man, can these bones live? And I answered, Lord God, you know. Then he said to me, Prophesy over these bones and say to them, O dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Valley of Dry Bones is one of my very favorite readings of all time. It's because you're not allowed to take this text from Ezekiel at face value. I suppose you are, but you won't reach or mind the riches of the text. Because on the face of it, you just hear about a valley of a bunch of dead people. Well, I guess, again, on the face of it, that's true. It is full of dead people. And there, the Lord was shown, or shown, all of these people in the valley who were dead. But, do you wonder why it says that they were dry? Why were the bones dry? In fact, it says they were very dry. What that translates into in our language is that they weren't just dead, they were very, very dead. They were so dead that there wasn't a modicum, modicum of moisture in the bones. That's how long they had been dead. And so when the question comes, Son of Man, which by the way is a messianic term, is a term for Jesus, the question is, can these bones live? And the answer that is given is a good answer. In fact, it's any answer that we would give. Well, Lord, you know. I don't know how many times I've prayed that exact prayer. Particularly when people come to me as a pastor and have uh, questions and want to rely on my wisdom and I simply turn to the Lord because I don't have a clue. Oh, Lord, you know. The wisdom that any of us have is the wisdom of the Lord. So when we look at the valley of dry bones, the very dry bones, it is a story of very, very dead people. So, can these bones live? And we hear the answer, Lord God, you know. Okay, then he said, prophesy over these bones. Say to them, O oh, dry bones, Hear the word of the Lord. And the word of the Lord was spoken over these dry bones. And what happened? This is another part of my favorite part of this text. Behold a rattling. The bones, the very dry bones rattling. And the bones came together, bone to its bone. And I looked and skin covered them. But there was no breath in them. So then he said, prophesy to the breath. Prophesy, Son of Man, that is Jesus, and say to the breath, Thus says the Lord, Come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe on these slain that they might live. See, the Valley of Dry Bones is a historical account of very, very dead people brought back to very, very alive state. A historical account. However, this historical account foreshadows a future account. It foreshadows Shona and Destiny's baptism. It foreshadows some very dry bones being washed in the water of holy baptism. It is the story of us, present tense, we who are baptized, who were very, very dry bones, dead in our sin 
and outcasts into a world that hated us already. Christians who are baptized had a pastor stand over us at the waters of holy baptism and prophesy over our bones and the water was washed upon them and then the very, very, very dry, very, very, very dead bones became all of a sudden a flush with water. And then our hearts met bone to bone, flesh came upon them, and we began to breathe. Not just any breath, but the breath of the Son of Man. The breath of Christ. The breath of the man, God-man, who would crucify, be crucified, and would pick up his life once again as a ransom. So that we, who were very, very dry and very, very dead, can now, in the life of faith, proclaim this to be true. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Sean and Destiny, this is your story. In a short time, the waters of holy baptism shall wash over you. And from, this point, from that point forward, every word that is said in faith is spoken by Christ through you. If this is true and since this is true, that means that when you speak your last words and you draw your last breath, you speak the words of Christ and you breathe the breath of the Son of Man. And therefore, the kingdom of heaven is given unto you from the time this water hits and the word pierces your soul until no end. Amen. Now may the peace which surpasses all human understanding keep your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus now and forever. Amen.